And another big story as we come on the air. All day, we have been following crews that are working to free the cargo ship that's been stuck in the Chesapeake Bay for more than two weeks. The push and pull operation started at noon today. And any moment now, we could get an update on if it worked. WJZ is live. Ava Joy Burnett has been following this story from the very start. She was the only reporter to go out onto the water with the U.S. Coast Guard. Ava Joy, what are you hearing about what's going on right now? Hi, Denise and Vic. Well, any moment now, we should be getting an update from officials on if this operation is successful. Uh, crews have been inside their operation center since early this morning with the U.S. Coast Guard, and they've been waiting to get to this moment where they could hopefully dredge out enough mud and set this ever forward free. Any moment now, we could be getting updates. Five tugboats have a huge undertaking right now to try to free this massive 1,095 foot long cargo ship. The ship, known as the Ever Forward, has been stuck in the Chesapeake Bay in about 24 feet of mud since mid March. WJZ was the only station that went onto the water with the Coast Guard as engineers and investigators tried to set the ship free. But even before the tugboats could attempt to pull the ship out today, Mother Nature added another roadblock. We're still under blowout tide conditions from the north winds basically pushing the waters out of the bay. So tides are lower than what would be normal for this, you know, for the high tide cycle. If all of the elements come together, the Ever Forward could start floating once again, just about a year to the date after another vessel like this that was stuck in Egypt's Suez Canal was freed. How significant is an operation like this? You were out there the other day with us to see the size of the vessel, you know, trying to move something that's that big obviously is a monumental task. Okay, so once again, this operation today was supposed to take about four hours. They were expected to start at noon. So right about now, we should be getting some word on if this was successful or not. We reached out to the Coast Guard and the Maryland Department of the Environment to see if they have any updates. So you may be wondering, what happens if this didn't work out today? Well, they're going to give it another shot next week, early next week. And if that plan B doesn't work out, then they will start the tedious process of lifting up those containers off of the ship, hopefully. It doesn't get to that. Live tonight, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.